Hello, it's Marissa with Walsh University, and today we're talking about flowers you would not suspect. When many of us think of flowers, we think of the big, showy, beautiful flowers like we have right down here. These irises, which are glorious. But every plant has flowers. So why isn't the whole woods covered in color? Well, we're gonna talk about that today, and I'm gonna show you three different families of plants that don't have the typical showy, beautiful flower. The first unsuspecting flower we're going to look at is from the Arum family. These flowers consist of spathe and spadix. The specific example we're going to look at is Jack in the pulpit. So let me show you. Here's your first unsuspecting flower. And we are inside a Jack in the pulpit. See these little buds down? Little like puffs down here. These are the actual flowers. But the way we identify this is this is a Jack in the pulpit. This most people consider, okay, if there was to be a flower, it would be this whole thing. But this is actually the leaf, which is called, which is a bract, it's a modified leaf, and it's called the spathe. And then this column here is the spadex. And the flowers are embedded, tiny, tiny, tiny little flowers embedded here. Some of them are green and yellow. And this one, we see them right here at the base, which I showed you previously. And that is the first unsuspecting flower from the Jack and the, the second pulpit. unsuspecting flower we're going to be looking at today is from the Poesi family, the grass family, which is identified as it is hollow and jointed, which means it's solid at the stems where the leaves come out. You might So not here we are, and here's some grass flowers, this one right here. As you might say, it looks a lot like little wheat shafts, and that would be true because wheat does belong to the grass family. So you say, now where's the flower? So the flowers of grass are very small. So if you see, each one of these little things is an inflorescent, which means it has multiple flowers. And then on the side, if you see on the side where my thumb is right above that, that is a spikelet. We're gonna look, come over here and look at a grass that's a little bit bigger so we can better see the parts of it. So each spikelet has a gloom. These have more than two glooms, but each grass has two glooms, and it would be at the very bottom of the spikelet. So if you see that kind of white striation, that is our glooms, and then we come up, each one of these is a little floret as we come up. And then in each floret, there is a lemma and palea. The lemma is on the outside, and the palea is on the inside protecting the flower kind of hard to see we would have to get a dissecting microscope out here so that you would be able to see them closer but these are the parts of a grass flower Last so even unsuspecting flower that we're going to talk about are tree flowers some trees do have flowers that are pollinated that you can see like the flowering dogwood with its flashy either red sometimes pink even white blooms but the ones we're going to be looking at and the ones most trees use don't rely on insect pollination. So there's no need for flashy sepals or petals to attract those birds and insects pollinators. The ones we're going to be looking at are wind pollinated. So their main job is just to make sure that they're hanging out there and catching the wind. Some don't even have sepals or petals on them because that would just inhibit the wind from carrying the pollen. So I'm gonna, we're going to look at one. So here are some tree flower examples. And as we can see, what looks like to be petals are actually stamen and nothing showy or flashy. These ones are a little dried up, so it's hard to tell between the parts, but this is going to be your allergy causers. This is the male part of the flower that we're looking at right here, these stamens, and they're going to be releasing all that pollen to swirl around in the air. That's going to make you sneeze a lot. Most tree flowers come out before the leaves so that the wind, um, they have direct contact with the wind. And these ones are dried up, which explains it because most of the trees in this wood have their leaves. So these are some old uh, tree flowers that I found on the ground. And this wraps up my three unsuspecting flowers. Remember, flowers come in all shapes and sizes and each one is beautiful in its own way. I hope you have a wonderful day and get out in nature and find some of those unsuspecting beauties. Bye-bye.